Guys, y'all please answer me. Oh my god, it's 3 a.m. Mia, Mia. WF? What's happening? Oh my god, stop it. Why do you wake up us in the middle of the night? Yeah, far. I was sleeping but then I heard something from the bathroom. I leave the bed to go and watch what was that because I was thinking that this is my neighbor's cat. But then I saw someone's silhouette from this bathroom and then I ran away back to my bed. Then I hide under the blanket and waited for this to end. After a couple of minutes, I took off the blanket to go see if the silhouette was gone. And what happened after? Mia? I think she's pranking us. So that's how you love your friends? Oh, my God, Spoo, and don't start again. Mia? Mia, are you okay? What happened? I don't know, but Mia is still in call. Mia, is this a joke? Why do you seem so scared? What the fuck? All I wanted to do was play with you. Who? Please come and play with me. Who are you? What the fuck? How? There's someone in front of my house. Next morning. Guys? Yad. I mean good morning, Mike? I think he's sleeping. I don't think that he would forget about saving Mia today. Hey Mike. Good morning, guys. Why did you wake up that late? Did you forget about saving Mia? Chill, I didn't sleep after police visited me, told me about laboratory. What laboratory? Did you forget about what happened to me this night? He left the call like Mia too. It was because my internet connection was so slow. Anyways, after Mia left the call, I saw someone staring at me from window. When I looked who was that, I saw policemen calling me outside. And what happened, after? After that I ran outside to him, but when I come near him, he didn't even try to hear me in. He started to telling me about failed lab experiment that gone wrong. And now in the city there's escape, entity named Silhouette. You mean Mia? Yes, we think Mia is one of who saw this entity. And now we thinking about saving her life. My father is sleeping, so I can take his car and we can go to her house. But now is 7 a.m. Why is he not at work? It's weekend, stupid ass. Anyways, I like this plan. Take the car. We both will meet at Northwest Park. Take us there. Rose left the call to get her dad's car keys. I hope my father is still sleeping so I can take the keys. Me while in call. And then she dropped her backpack, but she didn't catch it. But why? Because she was dead already. And all this time, she was seeing her ass a fantasy. What the? Hey guys, I'm back. Hey Rose. What were y'all talking about? Oh, we was talking about movie called Fall. Oh, I watched this movie. I cried at the end. Lol. Also, Rose, when you leave the call Mia, send us coordinates. In our group chat of somewhere we really don't know. What? Why didn't you say that before? We started to talk about movie. Let me look. Sure. Oh, my lord. I know this place. I'll take y'all in part. Be there dot in 10 minutes. What about telling us about this place? And where did you know? About there from? So this is the place when I first meet Mia. Before the fire happened here, there was a small park where we like to ride, the slides. And after the fire, this place was fully abandoned, so we didn't go there anymore. Oh, but why was a fire there? We still don't know. This was eight years ago. Eight years of that strong friendship. Also, we arrived. They finally reached to this place. Guys, please, listen to me. Before we go there, I need to say anything. How? What's that? If something happens to one of us, just know that we are always for each other and will never leave anyone. Aw, that's so cute. Anyways, let's go. That place looks so scary. I agree. Yeah, but I remember, 38 years ago, a lot of green trees, happy people. I see a house there. Where? Behind, Behind you. you. Let's go there. I agree. Let's check this house. I'm feeling so dizzy. Mike. Mike. What? What's happening? What's happened? Why do you seem so scared? No, not, not you. Again. All I wanted to do was play Where with you. Mia? Please come Please and play, play with me. Games.
Where is Mia? Where the fuck I'm? I don't know who are you but stop and leave Mia alone. That sound, again. Mike. What the fuck? Mike. Mike, wake up. But I'm already awake. Wait, Rose. He's losing his pulse. That can't be real. Bro, what's happening? Mike, please wake up. Am I dreaming? Wait, I remembered what Mia said me what to do when I have that type of dreams. Mike remembers what Mia said to do when he have that type of dreams. Do you understand what to do? Yes, when I have that type of dreams all I need to do is stay calm and say out loud your name. Yep. Thanks again for your support. I really appreciate it. Ah, uh, no problems, babe. Babe? She loved me. And I didn't even pay attention to it. I hate myself. I need to save Mia. Now. Like she said I need to say out loud her name. Mia. 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 I love you too. Oh my god. Did I really say that? Yes. You did. Mia. Is that you? I wouldn't say that. I mean not really. Like you think. Who are you and what do you mean? Mia? I am her mind. What? I'm Mia's mind and you're in it. How's that possible? Am I dreaming? No, you're not. You died. And now your mind entered Mia's mind. And for that now. You can hear everything she thought about you all this time. Unfortunately, a very long time has passed since your death and you can no longer be saved. Is Mia okay? I can't answer to this question, but still I can help you a little. As a little help from me, I can offer you to show your friends from the side. I mean let you look at them from above. It will not help me anyways, but okay. At least I'll know if they're alright. But before that, can you explain me how did I enter Mia's mind and how you can show me them above? I can answer to only one question. Oh, oh, okay, then answer me how did I enter Mia's mind? You said out loud the phrase that she was waiting from you all this time. You mean that I love her too? Are you ready to see your friends for last time? For last? I mean yes. Okay then, let's go. Stop crying. You're right, we tried the best. Oh my oh gosh, gosh, that's, that's me. me. Yes. Yeah, yeah. What do we do now? We must go inside, the house. There's will be storm in 30 minutes. Sure. I'm sorry, I'm sorry but time is running out. Where are we going now? We? It's your, it's your choice, choice now. Oh. Before you go I need to say anything then. What's that? I'm really sorry for ignoring you all this time I am so sad for that. It's too late. Mia will never hear this from you after this much time. Time is over goodbye. Mia, Mia, I will Mia, never, I never forget, forget our first our meeting. meeting. What's happening? My voice. Why is my body there? Have you really not forget about our first meeting? Mia, I will never forget about this day. I thought that you would forget about this the next day after that. Babe, I would never. Did you call me, babe? Yes, I want you to understand in my last seconds that I really loved you, but I could not say it. I can help return you to your own body. Did you say that you can't save me? Yes, I did. But you said that it's been a long time since my dear and... And sadly can't save you, but now your mind open to me so I can manage it and help you. But what about you? I need to save you too. Where have you been all this time? Why did we get the coordinates of this place? I'll tell you about this all when we will meet again. Will we see each other again? Yes, it will take a time if y'all will not go to my house after you wake up. Have you been at home all this time? No, it's a long story. I'll tell you everything when we meet. I warn you right away that your voice that has changed can remain like that for forever. But for now, I wish you good luck. <laughs> Oh my gosh. My head is about to explode. I can't even get up. But, but I need to save Mia. That's better. I need to find Jay and Rose first. Mike. Mike, we are here. Seems like I found them. Mike, oh my gosh. I was thinking that you died. Not only you, Rose. 
We have no time left. Let's drive to Mia's house. Your voice. Okay, let's go. I have so many questions. Not only you, Jay. I thought you were dead. You mean we thought you were died. Also, we arrived. We arrived. Okay, let's go. Finally. Oh my gosh. Huh? There are police trying to break inside the Mia's house. We need to stop them. Wait, me. Oh, gosh. Why? I can't move. It's happening again. Don't try to stop them. You are still weak and you will not be able to fight with them. Don't worry, Rose has gun with her. And also, I'm all right. There when you wake up, find me in my room. But Mia. Time's up. Wake up. Uh. Mike. Oh my gosh. Mike, wake up. Guys, I'm so sorry. Are you kidding? It's not your fault. Can we go to Mia now? Yes, let's go. Thank you so much. Haha, <laughs> no problems. Time is going. Mia? Maybe we shouldn't trust him. Mia. Mike. Mia. Mia, I'm so sorry for ignoring you all His this voice time. Is back. I love you so much and I don't want to lose you again. He love, he love her. her. The rest of my time, I want to spend with you. And for that I would like to ask you to marry me. Oh my god. I thought that I would not receive mutual love from you anymore. I think we should get out. Will you marry me? Oh my gosh. Yes is. Oh my god. Can we enter? Haha <laughs> sure. Yes is. The end. Wake up rat. Oh okay sir. Clean the house. Why? Because there are special guests coming. Sir who? Your stepmom and your stepsis. Oh okay. One hour later. Oh that must be them. Rat go to the bathroom and hide your bruises. Oh okay sir. Opens the door. Runs back downstairs. Hello. I am a bull but you can call me mom. This is Jason. But you can call him Rat. No, I'm gonna call him by his real name. Hello, Jason. H, hello, Ava. Call me mom. Hi, mom. By the way, I have a daughter. Okay. That means I have a sister. I told you last time, brat. S, sorry, sir. In mind, why is he calling him, sir? Elizabeth, come in the house. Elizabeth comes in the house. Hello, I'm Elizabeth. Hello, Elizabeth. Um, you must be Mike. Yes, but call me father or dad. In mine, I never call him dad. Okay, dad. Rat, show your sister her room. Oh, um, yes, sir. In mine, sir. F, follow me, sis. Stares at him. I, I mean, step, sis. Shows room. It's beautiful. I know. About to leave. Wait, step, bro. Yes. Why did you call your father, sir? I do it. For fun. Yeah, for fun. Okay, I guess. In mind if she figure out that I'm being abused, Mike would kill me. Run to mom. Mom. Yes, Elizabeth. Is dad here? No, why? I think Jason is getting abused. Why do you think that? Because Jason is keep calling his father, sir. Maybe they're doing this for fun. Sneaks downstairs. Mother, trust me. Listen here, young lady. If you don't start behaving, you will be grounded. Please believe me, he's getting abused. No, he's not. Ugh, fine. Heard everything. Goes upstairs to Jason. In mind, oh shoot. Runs upstairs. Hey, Jason. Yes, Elizabeth. Should we play truth or dare? Sure, it's getting boring. Elizabeth, truth or dare? Um, dare. I dare you to climb up a shelf. Okay, lol. Climbs shelf. Falls. Catches her before she hit the ground. I knew it was about to happen. Now get off me you're fat. What did you call me? F-A-T. Pulls out slipper. Say it again what did you call me? Stairs. Fat. Throws a slipper at him. Ha ha ha. Ha 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 ha. Okay Jason truth or dare? Um truth. In mind yes. Are you being abused? Um. 
And no, no, of course not. Jason, you have to tell the truth. Why? Elizabeth and Rat on home. Then go downstairs. I went to the shop and bought you something. On the iPhone, Pro Max, Ty Dad. You're welcome. D, did you got me something? Yes, I did. And I wish I didn't. Gives one piece of candy. T, thank you. Dinner is ready. After eating, Elizabeth and Jason go upstairs. What were you about to tell me? Yes, I'm being abused. Yes, I knew it. Can I tell anyone? No. I'm okay. Rat, come downstairs. Why, yes, sir. Here's $20. Go buy something for your sister. Yes, sir. Can Elizabeth go with me? Ugh. Fine. Hello, kids. How may I help you? May I get to Big Max? Two Big Max that would be $20. Thank you. Why did you order two? Because. Do you want to get even more fat? No, stupid. It's for you. Oh, I guess I'm really am stupid. Ha ha ha. Ha ha ha. Why are you being nice to me? Because you're my stepbrother. Why not be nice to you? At home. Kids, where were you? We were in McDonald's, Mom. Oh, you got me one Big Mac, too. No, stupid, it's all for myself. Young lady, don't call your father stupid. No, no, honey is okay, she can call me whenever she wants. Okay, then let Jason call you dad. Ugh, no. Why not? Because, um. See, you don't even have a reason. Young lady, you're grounded. Ugh, storms off. Give him death stare. In mind, oh no. Runs, goes to Elizabeth's room. Elizabeth. Yes. I want to know how old are you? You go first. I'm 15. Ha ha, I'm older. Okay, then tell me your age. Mrs. Ha ha, I'm older. I'm 17. You're old. Lol. Here's footsteps. In mind shit. In mind it is Michael. Lil bro, what's the matter? I hear Michael coming upstairs. Oh no. Hide behind me. Opens door. Um. Why are you holding a baseball bat? Dad, you trying to hit Jason, are you? Elizabeth, honey, don't tell your mom. She would break up with me. I wanted mom to break up with you anyways. Don't tell your mother I'm going to hit you too. Whispers, I'm sorry. Whispers, sorry for what? Mom. That's it. Hits Elizabeth. <laughs> hey, don't hit my sister. Or what? Or I will hit you too. With what? With, um. That's what I thought. Elizabeth, wake up. Oh no, she's bleeding. Elizabeth, cries please wake up. Ha, huh, what happened? Why am I bleeding? Dad hit you on the head. Cries, I'm glad you're okay. Hugs. Hugs back. Ah, oh, that's cute. Okay, play time's over. I'm home. Shit. Your mother's home. Don't tell your mother that I hit you. Okay, then what are we supposed to do? Should we tell mom that Elizabeth magically got hurt? What is your plan, genius? Um. Hey guys, what is happening? OMG. My daughter. What happened to her? Tell me. Jason, what happened? Dad. Elizabeth fell down the stairs. Right, Jason. Why? In mind, wait a minute, what am I doing? In mind, he almost killed my sister. No. Elizabeth didn't fall down the stairs. Dad hit her. Michael, I'm breaking up with you. And I'm taking Jason with me. Babe, I can explain. No excuse, I'm calling the police and the ambulance. You can't take Jason. Yes, I can. Child abuse is wrong. Calls 911. Hello, 911. What's your emergency? After the 911 call, the police are on their way. Um. Bye. Tries to run away. Runs out of the house. Hey, come back here. I think I lost them. No, you didn't. Sir, you're under arrest of five years of child abuse. Please, I can explain. Tell that to the judge. Maniac. Putting handcuffs. Please, I can explain. Shut up. Now, I need to take Elizabeth to the hospital. Okay, hurry. In the car. Mom, my head hurt. I know, sweetheart. We're almost to the hospital. At the hospital. Mom, Elizabeth passed out. Hello, I'm a nurse. I can take it from here. Unk um, T.Y. Nurse. No problem, ma'am. Is my job. Mom, do you think Elizabeth is okay? I hope so. Six hours later. Hello, ma'am. You must be Elizabeth's mom. 
Yes, I am. How is she? You need to pay $1,000 for the surgery. We saw in the x-ray that she broke her skull because of the damage. How much time we have? You have until four days. Four days. I'll try to look for a job and do it. Okay, ma'am. In the car, what job can I apply for? Mom, there's a job over there that says, job application for a chef. Mom, you cook the best food. Why don't you get a job here? And I heard you make $100 an hour. This is perfect. And I can apply there. But it says night shift too. Oh, but at least I will have money for Elizabeth's surgery. Okay, mom, I wish you the best of luck. Hello, sir. Hello. I would like to apply for a job. You a woman as a cook. No, go back to the kitchen. But as a cook, you go to the kitchen. No, I'm not accepting you, woman. Please, I need to start this for my daughter's surgery. Well, I don't care. Get out. Please, sir, I need this Joe. Get out. Okay, fine, you're going to regret it. In the car. So, mom, did you get the job? No, I didn't. Oh, I'm so sorry for you, mom. It's okay. It's not your fault. In the house. Mom, can I get two dollars to go to the shop? Sure, it's okay, son. Gibbs, two dollars. Thank you, mom. I'll get a lottery ticket and maybe I'll win. Hello, it's you again. Hi, welcome. I would like to get two lottery tickets, please. Two lottery tickets, that would be two dollars. Gibbs, two dollars. Thank you, come again. Thanks, you too. Praise to God. I hope I win. Scratch is the first one. I didn't win. Oh, the other one. Who winning number is 1 to 7. 6, 8, 1, 2, 7, 6, 8. ONG. I win. Mom is not gonna believe me when I get home. At home. Hi, honey. How was your day? Mom, you're not gonna believe what I'm gonna say. Yes, sweetie, what's up? I won the lottery. You're lying. No, Mom, I'm telling the truth. Shows paper. Oh my god. We can finally pay for Elizabeth the surgery. Yes, we can finally pay for it. At the hospital. Hello, you must be. I am a vor. Elizabeth's mom. You must be here to pay. Yes, we're here to pay for the surgery. Okay, sign here to begin the surgery. Okay, done. Can you come back here in five days? Because the surgery is going to take long because of the damage. Oh, okay, it's not a problem. At least my daughter is going to be okay. I will call you if the surgery is done. Thank you. God bless you. Bye. God bless you too. And goodbye. At the car. Mom, is Elizabeth going to be okay? Yes, don't worry. She's going to be okay. Mom, can I ask you one thing? I know it's a weird question to ask him this time. Ask away, sweetie, ask away. Can we? Um, can we? What is the matter, sweetie? Can we get McDonald's, please? It's a weird thing to ask, sweetheart, this time. But how can I say no? Ha 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 ha. Ha ha ha. Guys, wake up. Bro, what do you want? It's f adding early. Yay, Sophia. What could you possibly want at this hour? Um, sorry for waking you guys, but... Do you know what day it is today? Thursday. What about it? Nothing. Ugh, bro, you wasted our time. That time could have been wasted on sleeping. But no, we are here. I'm going back to sleep. Same. Oh, okay. Bye. What did I expect? It's like this every year. Nothing ever changes. It seems like they always forget. Whatever. I will just play. Tower of Hell. Ugh, I keep dying. Hello? Oh, I'm hi. Would you like to be friends? I would love to. Wanna play a different game? Sure. How about Evade? Oh my god. Yes. I love that game. Okay, join me. Okay. After two hours. That was fun. Ha <laughs> ha, it was. But the way I kept dying lol. Lol, your body fell like spaghetti. Lol, it did. By the way, would you like to join my GC? Oh, sure. KK. Let me add you. And then bro, was like give me that. Oh Mel, bro, really wanted that cookie. For real, um Sophia, who is this? This is Jasmine. Well, hello. Hi. Hello. A few weeks later. 
And then he came to school looking like a rat. Hey, Jasmine, what do you like to play a game? Uh, no. Oh, okay. I am going to get off. See ya. Yay, yay, whatever. Couple hours later. Should we tell her? I think we should. Okay. Tell who what? What are you guys talking about? You're getting kicked. I am getting kicked? But why? I have done so much for you guys, and this is how I get paid back for being like that. I hate all of you guys. You guys even forgot my birthday. Sorry. No, no more sorry. It has been weeks. You guys forget it every year. Like it's nothing special. And I am sick of being treated like that. And you, Jasmine, I brought you into this GC. And now you are taking me out. You guys are the worst friends. I hate this GC. Sophia1902 has left the group chat. I need better friends. Can't believe I have been friends with them for over two years. I am going to play something to get that off my mind. She joins Murder Mystery. That was fun. Hi. Um, hi. Wanna be friends? Um, I don't know. Never mind. Sure. Okay. You wanna also join my GC? Sure. Kyle9731 added Sophia1902. Hi everyone. Wait. Jasmine? You guys know each other? Yes. She was one of my friends. Was? You guys are not friends anymore? Yep. We not friends anymore. Because when I brought her into my GC, she gained up with my other friends to kick me out. Wow. That is really messed up. Jasmine, how could you do that to them? No, no, I swear I did not do that. Oh, yeah? You literally stopped caring after a few weeks. I thought you were a real friend, but I guess not. You were such a backstabber. Please give me a second chance. You get a second chance, but if you back up again, I swear I will kick you out. Okay. I hate Hopefully Sophia. it's okay. Why if did she, she has have a second chance, I need I to get mind. rid of her. Um, Sophia, can we talk? I'm sure. So what did you want to talk about? You should leave. It was better when you were not here. Take screenshot. Now you are ruining things. I am ruining things. No, I am not. Yes, you are. So you better leave. And what if I don't? I am not scared of you. Well, you should. I faking hate you. You broke my heart. And now you want to break it again. So be it. What does that mean? You will see. What? What is she talking about? I going to go to the GC. Sophia, why did you do that? To Jasmine? What do you mean? I did not do anything to her. Yes, you did. You told me that. I should K at L myself. Any proof? You were the one talking, shh. Yes, I have proof. Shows edited proof. Wow. You're really messed up. How could I say those things to you if you were the one that told me you wanted to talk to me? Like makes sense. Don't tell me your guys are going to believe this, shh. T, if you guys don't believe me, here is some proof. Shows proof. That is the last straw, Jasmine. You lied to all of us. Alex 3540 kicked Jasmine to 837. The end they all stay friends and stuck together.